I am so sick of listening to people who keep telling us how AI is going to take all of our jobs and we're not going to have anything else to do because of AI, et cetera, et cetera. And I think uh, it's time for me to tell you what I think the future would look like, that this is what I believe. This is a different, an alternative version of AI coming and AI increasing in power and in capabilities, I should say. So now I'm not sure if this is, what's gonna to come to be, but this is what I believe will happen. So here is the thing, there are two camps right now. And camp number one are the people who think that because of AI is getting so good, well, companies will stop hiring other people. Like if Netflix is it's, it's hiring right now at 10,000 engineers, well, they're gonna to need to hire half of them. And Netflix is gonna be able to do the same thing they're doing right now, but much faster, and much cheaper. Therefore, they don't need that many employees. That's camp number one, okay? And there are several things that when I look at this theory that I really don't like. So I'm gonna be in camp number two, and this is what I think will happen. Well, instead of thinking of AI as coming and, and helping us do the same that we're doing today, but faster and cheaper, how about using AI to lift the ceiling that right now we have imposed on ourselves because of the, uh, you know, the point we are in history. So instead of thinking that we're going to be able to do the same but faster and cheaper, think that we're going to be able to do way more. So maybe we do not cost costs we keep spending the same, but we get much further because of that. Like I keep thinking of an airline, right? Airlines have just crappy websites. It doesn't matter where you go. Their websites suck big time. Now, version one, camp one, tells you that because of AI, the airline will continue to produce this crappy experience but we'll do that much cheaper. Therefore, they're not gonna need that many engineers to do that. What about if instead of that future, we get a future where the airline keeps the same number of employees, keeps spending the same amount of money, but can build a decent experience instead so they can move farther from where they are right now. If you look at history, that is what has happened. We've been able to push beyond the limits that we've had before. I think that is what we are going to see with AI. So I do not believe that AI is going to take this, all of these jobs. Of course, there's going to be job disruption, just like with any piece of new tech that we've seen in history. But this idea that software developers all of a sudden are all going to be out of jobs, that nobody else will have anything else to do, that AI is just gonna take over, I just don't bite it. I don't think that is what the future holds for us. I think there hasn't been a better time for us to learn how to use this tech, for us to learn how to control it, how to use it to augment what we are already capable of doing. So we can push those limits further. So if you were to ask me, where do I put my money? I think more people are going to get employed because of these, not fewer. I think five years from now, 10 years from now, we're going to be using experiences that we cannot even dream about right now, thanks to AI. We're going to be solving problems that are not solved today. That's what I believe, of course, I might be wrong. And I would love to hear what you believe. So let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.